car's already packed. Let's go. Jeez. <laughs> and that's just the first bit. Good morning, everyone. It is 3 a.m and we are at some service station in Somerset. I thought I should probably come on the beginning of this video and do an intro. We are on the way to Scotland and it is quite a long drive to the first place that I'm going to, which is nine hours. I am really tired and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to probably stealth camp somewhere at some point today or this afternoon to get some sleep on the road but i'm so glad that i made the decision to leave when i did because the road works on the m5 are insane we're at another services <laughs> no i still have not slept hello stitch we're still around the birmingham area and i just went in and grabbed a coffee and i just said i'm on a, like an 11 hour drive and she was like do you want me to sneak an extra shot in your coffee i was like yes please i have also treated myself to one of these because i need the energy oh she wasn't kidding when she said that was strong <laughs> i am beginning to remember why i stopped stealthing or sleeping in the car in like public places especially car parks because i haven't slept at all i just feel so exposed that i think even even if i had really thick like limo tints in here and or, or like window like the proper window covers i would still feel like i stick out like a sore thumb <laughs> So I'm glad I'm heading somewhere that's like, it's more normal to do that. I might treat myself to a premier in for a night. A cheeky premier in. Mountains! <laughs> now I'm getting excited. I always find this spectacular because we don't have this where I'm from. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that's a big staircase. <laughs> View. why are these drawn that's weird what have we got can't see stitch can we no we can't <laughs> damn <laughs> night night <laughs> no where's the purple light Oh, well, I feel conned. <laughs> There's no purple light. Why well, is a premier room without a purple light? Oh, for God's sake. It's fine, I'll get over it. Just. <laughs> it's 20 past three in the afternoon. I've been on the road for over... I think it's like 15 hours. The amount of stop-offs that I had to do, like the amount of service stations because of how tired I was. Like I'm sure there was a point in time when service stations allowed you up to four hours. No, it's two now. So I booked Carlisle Premier Inn, which is where we are now. I wanted a bed, like a proper bed tonight after that drive. My back is actually <laughs> killing me. I think what I'm gonna do is just sleep for like a long time and wake up really early, like as early as I possibly can. My timings are gonna be completely screwed, but it's fine. Here we go. <sighs> Good God. Gosh, she's making an effort today. <laughs> to be fair, I did this mainly in the dark, so. <laughs> The back of the car is quite a mess already. So we've just got into Scotland. We're at Gretna Services. Whew. At 7 a.m. it was still pitch black and the weather, even the guy in the services said, it's been nice weather, like mild and clear all week. And all of a sudden it's just like, woof, like loads of wind and rain hits, hits this place. And I couldn't see in front of the cars. People were driving like lunatics, really close to each other. There were lorries everywhere. I literally could not see in front of the car because it was that dark and everything was reflecting. <sighs> So I got myself a Starbucks, cheers. I haven't bought like loads of food with me because I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. It's literally gonna be as long as I kind of want to. I'm literally making it up as I go along, like campsites, staying out of the car and stuff. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna have to get bits and pieces when I need it. A small bag was two pounds nearly. I think it was like 185, a small bag. That was three pounds. So I was like, well, obviously I'm gonna go for the bigger one. I got super noodles. Look, these are so easy, okay? This weather absolutely sucks. <laughs> oh, God. 
god i need to get a gopro soon i really do or some kind of action cam for this stuff I wanted to wait until I was out of the city to film again because I had to drive through Glasgow. But yeah, that is Loch Lomond, but it's currently covered in fog. Uh, so I thought what I'd do is head up higher, see what I can find up there. No idea, but it'd be nice to have a little look around. Oh my, oh my God. This is, this is honestly just, it looks like something out of a Hallmark film. Okay, so guys, we are way, way up in the mountains now and this is the fog. <laughs> Look at it. You can't see anything. <laughs> Stitch, we did not plan this good, mate. I mean, it's a shame, but it's October. So like, there's not really much else I can do. <laughs> I think that's when we'll go down and have a little look at Loch Lomond tomorrow morning. Cause I'm actually staying near it tonight. We're in, is it Agil, Agil, Agil National Park or forest at the moment? Pretty high up in the mountains. And we're staying in the forest, in a campsite. I'm just so, so, so glad I'm finally here. Like I, I can't put it into words. I'm really looking forward to seeing what like else this place brings. emotional just being stood here <laughs> and this car's going past and I'm getting embarrassed I'm actually gonna cry Butter Bridge. I found it on Google really randomly, like whilst I was passing. If there wasn't so many cars around because there's a main road right there, I would be going for a swim in there right now. I'm kind of like finding my feet with things at the moment. Like I have no idea what each, no, actually I do know. I have think, I think I've got a little bit of like a loose plan for the time I'm here. Like I promised myself that I'd go swimming in a lock. That's one thing I promised myself. I'd attempt to climb a mountain if of course the weather is not dangerous. <laughs> These are kind of like little trip bucket list items by the way. I'd like it if there was a bit of snow and we could go wherever that is. Just a bit. Just to see what Stitch is like in it again, you know, it'd be fun <laughs> and chaotic. Because originally I was going to do like a full blown massive vlog slash film here and I'd planned out loads of different sh types of shots that I wanted and I'd written like stuff that I wanted to mention and now I'm here and the weather's been so sporadic I just I kind of just want to go with the flow and just not overthink it like I would do if I was doing a big thing like that I think I'm gonna bank that for another trip maybe around Christmas and just give you guys the most realistic fun adventurous vlogs from this trip Stitch is like looking at me like come on we gotta go where is it come on then guys Come on then guys. <laughs> I am actually really looking forward to cuddling up and being cozy and stitched tonight. Sorry. <laughs> this place has been like on my list of places to go for so long. I was just never, I never felt like I, I never felt brave enough to come here on my own. 
Me and Stitch will see you in the next one. I have to get used to filming these kind of shots when there's loads of traffic everywhere. I really do. This trip is pushing my comfort zone. Bye! <laughs>